What is up, my ninjas? I am Strident and uh, Yo Joe to all the Joe fans out there. Um, today, we're doing something a little different. Uh, I am going to uh, do a, I am doing a video reply to my ninja Brandon Skaggs. He very politely uh, sent me a message uh, asking for uh, a little bit of advice building a squad. He has a kind of the not so unique situation. He hadn't collected for a while and now after watching my vids, he wants to get in and get some some Joes. And he wanted to know like which are some good ones that uh how do I put it? Which are some good ones that don't that won't break the bank. So um Mr. Skaggs. All right, so if you've been watching my videos then you know I'm a huge fan of Rise of Cobra. Um, right now, and I'm also a huge fan of The Pursuit of Cobra. Those two together, to me, are the ideal line, uh, G.I. Joe lines. Um, next to the vehicles from Valor versus Venom. But on the flip side, the 25th anniversary figures are extremely affordable these days, unless you're picking, like, the most hard-to-find version of a character. You know, that's when you're going to run into problems. Um, there are 50 billion versions of Snake Eyes, so you got to have a Snake Eyes on your team, so it'll be easy to find them. Um, I would personally take some things into account. First of all, what kind of team am I trying to create? Are you trying to create a team that mirrors what you had watched in the cartoon? If so, stick with the 25th and cherry pick other versions that, like 50th versions, that better encapsulate the, uh, the look and style of that character as we saw them in the 20, uh, I mean, in the old cartoon. Um, if you like the comics, then you could pick from anywhere because in the comics, people's designs keep changing over the years. Um, certain things stay the same, you know, thematically. You know, Sergeant Slaughter will always have his drill instru instructor hat, you know, his whistle, the glasses, you know, the aviators, um, and his little baton thing. So you could kind of give him different gear just as long as he kind of, he still feels like the Sarge. Um, but like Shipwreck, over the years, he went from looking like one of the village people to looking like a freaking, just an operator. You know what I mean? Like they, they gave him a cap, like a, like a skull cap, gave him a, you know, a Navy t-shirt, tats all over the place, vest, you know, BDU pants, and then that's it. You know, his boots and he's got straps for his, uh, his holsters for his guns and you know he just looks like someone in the field on the regular so it all depends on what era or what style of figure you're looking for if you want to build your own team and like like I mean like the way I did with Fenris company where I made up completely new characters I found obscure versions of characters and used those heads and then tweaked them so that they fit my characters some of the heads on my team members aren't even GI Joe heads actually most of them are not so if you want to do something like that, then you have to think outside the box. It wouldn't make sense to, uh, uh, how do I put this? It wouldn't make sense to buy Duke and just call him something else. You know what I'm saying? You can't buy well-known, easy, easily uh, recognizable characters and then say, oh, no, this isn't Duke or Flint. This is me. Like, come on, dude. Like, you know what I mean? You're going to have to be more creative, you know. I mean, if you want to in the end, you can. But if you want to sell it, if and when I say sell it, I don't mean sell it to people for money. But if you want the idea to fly so that people can see it and be like, damn, that's actually a good idea. Or believe that this is a different character, you need to find more obscure characters and use them as the basis for your customs or your kit bashes. Um, right now, Pursuit of Cobra figures are at a low as far as price goes. And I'm really surprised. I was doing my video about the crazy prices that we find on eBay when you buy things on the secondary market. And I jumped around a little bit and I spent some time looking at Pursuit of Cobra figures. And my God, like things that were 50 and $60 just a couple months ago are now in the 12 to $20 range. So you could cherry pick from uh, Pursuit of Cobra and really, you know, actually still make out pretty well. Um, Vehicles. Valor versus Venom is so 
horribly underappreciated and underlooked. You could actually use them as your uh, the base for a lot of the vehicles. Um, a lot of 25th anniversary stuff, if you buy it loose, it's a lot less expensive. And, uh, you know, you'll be able to kind of achieve a base level. And if you don't even want to fuck with any of that shit, just go to Toys R Us and go get a whole bunch of the Sentinel-1 True Heroes slash Chap May stuff. Sentinel-1 stuff right now is pretty dope because they have future stuff. They have uh, some of the uh, standard military stuff. Um, there's like a cool motorcycle type deal. It's a three-wheeled motorcycle. I call it the Recon Sled because it reminds me of that. The Joe's got to lie down in it to use it. So that's what I call it. Um, there's a really cool uh, motorcycle. It looks like something a common Rider would drive, like a really hefty, you know, hog, but like armored. You know, it looks really tough with really heavy wheels and stuff. Um, there's a cool fighter jet that has a handle built in and like a rotating gun underneath it. So you can play with it as a plane holding it by the handle and you can shoot at stuff. So it's like there's there's a lot. There's a bridge laying vehicle. There's a freaking uh, hovercraft now that can carry other vehicles. So, you, you know, the, the, op the options and the possibilities are endless when it comes to building your own unique little Joeverse. You don't have to stick specifically with G.I. Joe. I mean, if you notice, I do have a lot of G.I. Joe stuff, and I'm going to review more of it uh, in the coming weeks. But, uh, you know, I had been away from that for a while, reviewing all my, uh, my import figures because I was... I've been pissed at Hasbro, and I'm kind of like getting Ultraman and stuff like that really makes me happy. Ultraman and Kamen Rider and all that. That's stuff from my childhood and stuff that I really dig the designs. And it, it just seeing it and being able to talk about it makes me happy. But so does getting more G.I. Joes and talking about the G.I. Joes in my collection and showing people, you know, the possibilities that exist within, you know, creating your own Jovers. Uh, but, uh, back to your question, I would look a lot at the 25th anniversary first, um, cause I'm pretty, I don't know if, if O-ring figures are your thing, but if you've been watching my channel, I haven't reviewed a single O-ring figure. I think the only one I still have is Quick Kick and he's in like insane condition, super good condition and I don't plan on getting rid of him. Uh, but, uh, if O-ring Joes are your thing, you gotta be prepared to pay some weird prices because some of them are really expensive and then there's a whole mess of them that just aren't you know i think it's it's like a a year thing you know certain years are more sought after and then other years are not so you can avoid uh you can pick a year and hopefully your character falls you know your version of the said character will fall within that year and you know you might be good um but if you're looking at the more modern figures start with the 25th anniversary towards the end of the 25th anniversary there were a lot of uh really well done figures i mean in comparison to pursuit of cobra and some of the 50th they're not that great and same thing with retaliation they're not that great but depending on who the character is like uh the the two packs odc did a video he's been doing videos on joe's too and uh he got the uh mainframe from the two pack, he came with Beachhead. Um, the the mini, the, or they're not mini, but they're comic two packs. Um, that mainframe, even though by today's standards he's not that really amazing of a figure, for the guy that sits behind your computers in whatever base you might have, that's a dope ass figure. You know what I mean? Um, I cherry picked and 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 mostly built up my collection from Rise of Cobra, and. I mean, you've seen what I have, and then my colors team is a mixture of 50th Pursuit of Cobra and 25th Anniversary characters, just so that I could get the characters and have a representation of certain characters. So, you know, it can be done in so many different ways, and that's the beauty of the Joeverse. So, you know, I would uh, go on eBay, look up uh, a lot of, look loose, look for loose, because if you're doing Mentown card, people will try to bend you over. Um, don't listen to the folks telling you it's inflation, it's storing it, it's this, it's that. No, just avoid that because to be honest with you, you're going to see figures that range from like 499 
and then you'll find the same figure and he'll be up at like $59.99. It's, it all depends on what people are willing to pay. And they're gonna ask because they're trying to get that money. So they're gonna ask if you're gonna pay an insane amount of money for something that does not actually cost, go for, or is worth that much. You know, I mean, personal worth is different, but you say you don't wanna break the bank and I'm being as honest as I can possibly be. When I, when I look for Joe's, I go over eBay three or four times first. You know, I do the search for the character that I want in every version I can think of, like Pursuit of Cobra, Rise of Cobra, 50th, if they made a 50th, uh, Retaliation, and then A Real American Hero for the O-Ring shit from back in the day. And uh, whatever comes up, I look at the prices, you know, and I keep looking at the prices to make sure that I'm not getting duped. And if I can find a, a decent price, you know, I don't want to pay over 20 bucks for a Joe, but uh, there are some figures like uh, I'm about to do the review for Ricondo. I got him a little while back and uh, I had to pay 27 for him. Um, usually he goes for 40 or 50 bucks, you know, like 39.99 plus shipping. And I'm like, really? But I found him for 27 and I had I had to jump. It, it's kind of weird because, you know, these are figures that if they were in the stores, they'd probably be like 10 or 12 bucks. So I feel like 20 bucks, they're making their profit and I'm not breaking the bank. And since I'm not buying up hordes and hordes of Joes, it works for me. Now, if I was trying to buy like 10 Joes at a time or something, fuck that shit, man. I'm going to buy the cheapest one I can find loose and then buy all the parts separate or you know give him comparable parts from marauders which brings me to my next part if you can find them loose incomplete you know and like most of their gear like if they have a helmet they have the helmet but they may not have their backpack and they may not have their guns go to marauders and just order some weapon packs you can spend 20 bucks and you can get a gang of weapons and arm up your figures um, you could even, uh, go to Marauders and make your own character, you know, uh, at least get the body, get the gear, you know, like the armor, if he needs a hat, you can get a hat and then find the head from some other figure that at least closely or, you know, nearly resembles you. And then there you go. You got yourself in your Jovers. Um, I'm going to go a little bit further and I'm going to try to integrate some of the Marauders body parts into the Joe Trooper body because some of that gear doesn't fit on the Marauder's body and I noticed that there's a lot of pieces of armor and stuff that do not fit on the Marauder's bodies. Um, there are pieces that do but there's a lot that I like that does not fit on those bodies so I'm gonna kit bash even further but like I said that's a good base you get a Marauder's Task Force uh, body get some different whatever armor or web gear or whatever that you want for that character get guns holsters etc and then you find a head from an old joe that fits you know your features or at least has similar features and then there you go you got you and your joverse so you know there's a lot of things you could do um yojo.com has a amazing database literally if you look up a figure or a character they'll show you every version that they've ever made of that character and if they don't have that version, they'll let you know there still is a version of that character and they're waiting to get a picture. I haven't come across that lately. Um, years ago, that's how it was. And I think that was when they were in the process of building up this database. Right now, they're pretty up to date. So I would use them as a resource so you can find out about vehicles and you can find out about you know, versions of a character because sometimes there may be a version of a character that you fancy more than all the other versions, you know? Um, for me, a lot of times, that version fell in the Pursuit of Cobra. So, you know, these are all things for you to look at, things for you to consider. And, uh, oh, oh, theme. I forgot. So if you're making an original team, you might want to think about the theme of your team. Are they a stealth op? Uh, operate? Uh, wow. Wow. Are they stealth ops? <laughs> you know, are they black ops? Are they the folks that sneak around, do stuff behind the scenes, and nobody knows they exist? Are they uh, straight up like infantry? 
heavy weapons? These are all questions that, or elements that I brought up when I was talking to Brian uh, Blessed Fury Fletcher. And I did that video, and I'll, I'll try to link to that too, just in case. But um, you want to think about where do they fit in in the greater Joverse. If it's one of those things where you just want a generalized team with specialists just like G.I. Joe, then, I mean, you, you know, the sky's the limit. You, can, you got so many characters and so many, uh, you know, uh, specialties to choose from. And that's all up to you. But, uh, you know, if you're picking characters that you want to fit a certain, um, a certain kind of function... Then you're going to have to read their cards and learn what they do. Or just look at yojo.com. They give you the read-up or the, I always say that, and I don't know why. The file card information is sitting there right next to the picture of the character. Um, and uh, you'll be able to decide that way. Um, and that's really it. Just, you know, search around. You will find Joes online for, you know, decent prices. Sometimes if you check Amazon, Amazon will have like new in box and companies, you know, stores haven't sold. So they'll be selling them for much lower than eBay prices. So, you know, you might get lucky there. Um, conversion kits. I'm looking into a Sergeant Slaughter conversion kit for my one of my rock blocks because I have the ultimate rock block that has the brown suit from the end of the movie and then I have the standard rock block from the beginning the battle kata rock block which is the rock as roadblock um you can put they somebody made a head hat baton whistle uh, and duffel bag for you to use with that figure just pop the head off put their head on the body skin tones match and everything and you got sergeant slaughter and I'm, I'm looking to do that because I want him to be big and I want him to be imposing like he was in the cartoon. And he's one of my favorite characters that I had when I was a kid. I lost him and I never got him again. So, um, and if you look for him, he goes for stupid prices. So, uh, you know, conversion kits might be the way, you know, custom sometimes too. But you have to be careful. You know, this, this custom costs 20 bucks or 25 something like that 25 26 bucks um but there are customs out there that you know the, the figure itself costs like three dollars but the person who did the paint job and shit is going to charge you a hundred for it you know so if you don't want to break the bank then maybe that might not be the territory to go into but some of the conversion kits that people make they're a good deal and they're not super ridiculously expensive um, and you get extra play out of a figure that you might not have otherwise played with. So you might want to think about that too. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I hope this works for you. Um, I know it wasn't too terribly long, but your question has so many answers to it. You know, there's so many ways you could do it, but, uh, you know, it all depends. You got to have your Duke. You got to have your Flint. You got to have your Hawk. So, you know, I would get those three if you can find them, build up from there. Um, it all depends on who you like and what you like. Uh, you know, if you have Flint, you got to have Lady J, which means you're going to get a Lady J. <laughs> you know, if you like Bazooka, you got to get Alpine. And if you like Alpine, you probably will need a quick kick because those three always played well off of one another. Um, you got to have a shipwreck in there somewhere because you got to have your slacker. Um, you want to have a drill sergeant, you're going to have to have a sergeant slaughter. So, you know, it, it, it all depends on what you want in your team. Not to say that slaughter is the only drill sergeant. You could get Beachhead and have him be the drill sergeant. Um, but uh, the possibilities are endless. So I hope that I, you know, answered in, in enough detail to give you an idea of what to do. Um, I'm going to try to put um, links... In the description so that you know I can at least point you in the direction of some good uh, 25th anniversary lots and uh, some you know a couple eBay posts that aren't too bad and uh, or I'll just message you those in the uh, in the uh, comments um, so make sure you get at me in the comments so that you know we can talk a little bit more 
Um, also, I want to uh, put this out there for everyone else. I love answering these questions, and I think it's about time for another Q&A. So if you guys have any questions that you want me to answer, put them in uh, put them in the comments here, and uh, I will take as many of them as I get. And uh, the answers to those questions will show up in my over 500 special. I'm still working on that. I haven't forgotten about it. Um, I recently now have some time, so I'm going to use that time and I'm going to get that done so you guys can, uh, you know, check out what's going on with that and see what I what I think about having over 500 videos and almost 2,000 subs. Um, you know, and, and it's 2,000 subs of people that I talk to on a fairly regular basis or, uh, you know, every couple weeks, every, you know, a couple times a month. That's pretty dope, you know? So, um, I hope I helped you, Brandon. Um, thank you for, you know, hanging out and watching my videos and, you know, asking me these questions. You know, I love, I do this because I want to talk to folks like, you know, you were right here. I want to hang out with people and, you know, geek out with them as if we were in the same room no matter where we might actually be. And it's really cool to get the opportunity to do that in this kind of a format. Because um, otherwise I'd be talking to myself <laughs> or I'd just be talking to, you know, uh, Dar or uh, ODC, that's me, or Agent O. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't want to only barrage them with these ideas and these things. It's cool to talk to a whole bunch of people about this stuff so thank you my ninja and uh continue to watch i'm going to continue to drop as much cool shit as i can um on a regular basis you know as regular as i can because what i usually do is stockpile and then just drop it on you guys and then disappear for a while and then you know stockpiling while i'm gone and then just drop a whole bunch of shit on you guys at the same time so you know how i do so i hope that this works i hope you enjoyed and that's it for me this is my story and I'm sticking to it and I will catch all of you on the next video. Peace outside.